Hello everybody and welcome back to Zoo Tours on Monday. Today we are touring the Wimba Forest Zoo created by Puckin' Chicken. It's as always on the Steam Gallery and as always that link is in the description down below so do make sure you give to create him some love. In the description it says this. Welcome to Wimba Forest Zoo named after the lush Wimba tree common to the area. This zoo is a beautiful barrier free home to the animals from all over the world. I wanted to design a zoo that's completely free from barriers to create a feeling that guests are one with nature. Happy exploring. I loved it. I couldn't not make a video about this zoo because it is very close to how I like to build. So it was very fun for me to actually see that and you know, see some differences, see some things that be like, hey, there's something that I could do. Guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and you know, remember to like, comment and subscribe and do all those YouTube things so um, we get more recognition and the community can grow. And with no further ado, let's get into this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the actual zoo tour. Um, I wanted to give you guys an overlook view of this zoo. I love the overlook view. I always like that. It gives me kind of an idea of where I can go in a zoo. It gives me a little bit of a direction. I like this overview. So let's get into the uh, actual tour. There is, as I see it, a train because there's like this track. Oh, and a train station. Amazing. Cool. Okay, well, let's do this. This is the Wimba Forest Zoo. Ooh, I like the abstract monkey. I like that. Yeah, it's a gorilla, yeah. Ooh. So like I just said, read in the description, it is a zoo without barriers, so it's all very natural. Um, I love that, as you know, my red tail zoo is a zoo with mostly without barriers. Let's see, visitor center, let's uh, park train. No, let's do the train last, let's go to the visitor center. I'm always amazed that people can build stuff like this because this, I don't have inspiration for this. Like, I really don't. I'm so awful at creating visitor centers. And then, look, this looks amazing. I always see stuff like this and I'm like, yeah, why can't I build that? And then I try to build it and it always looks awful. But this is amazing. The art deco. I love it. Cool. So our first animals are flamingos. Do you know why flamingos or capuchin monkeys or penguins are usually the first animals you see in the zoo? I'll give you some time to think about that while we explore this habitat. Just think about it, why would that be? Hmm. Got an answer yet? It's because they're the most, the most noisy. So when you walk outside the zoo, you will hear these animals and you'll be like, ooh, animals, that's a zoo, I want to go there. Or at least that's how the psychology works in your brain, because you, you hear noise and you want to see what that noise makes. So it will, it makes you want to go into the zoo even more. Which is amazing, because whenever there's a zoo, I want to go in it anyway. So. You know, that's pretty cool. I love this little gazebo thing with the lights as well. Reminder to check this out at night, which I'll probably forget, but this looks cool. Ooh. I just noticed you used the tropical uh, map and I love it. Let's see, there is some, probably something in here as well. Ooh, oh, I do this as well. Oh, there are pick me hippos. Oh wait, regular hippos. Yeah. So big, nice. I love this little house that you made for them. Really nice. I love the all the different types of woods combined. It looks really cool. More hippos. Oh, we have a sign. Wolves, East Asia, Australia, hippo, bears. Well, let's go to the hippos and the bears first. So, probably hippo, bear. Ooh, ooh, this looks very dangerous as a bear habitat. Does not look like it's steady at all. Also, if you happen to know any purring or if to hear any purring or meowing, those are my cats. Um, they're with me again, so. Ooh, look, a bear. Also, if the mouse suddenly suddenly does something weird, also the cats. Not me, just the cat. Awesome. I love bears. They have this amazing habitat. Really cool. I always feel like it's a little bit weird that this would, like bears wouldn't be able to climb on up top of this. In real life they would have, but in game they don't. But it's still, it's a little bit weird. I mean like this, I believe. So there's a tree right there. Oh, they even have a bear cave. Oh, with a viewing point. They hear the music. It was music, right? Maybe I'm deaf. I thought I heard music. Oh well. 
Grizzly Cave. Nice. So this is the hippo habitat. This looks nice. Oh, more bears. Formosan black bear. That noise is also the cats on the scratching pole. Where are the bears? Oh, found them. Oh, it's a cup. Baby bear. So cute, adorable. It's some tainted glass, really nice. <laughs> nice, I love the vegetation in here as well. It looks really cool. Hippo cave, ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, underwater viewing. Cool. This is spectacular. Oh, that's the way out. Wait, I wanna, I wanna stay here for longer. This looks really cool. I like the entire habitat they have. It's really big. It's like even on top of here, you have a little bit of a food cord, and then you can just like this as well. You can just stand here and look at the hippos. Amazing. Okay, let's get back to our underwater cave. Amazing. Wait, this was actually... Oh no, it's all rock. Nice. I love the stairs. Looks really cool. Uh, um... Peafowl Africa. Okay. Oh, we're at the beginning. Okay. Um, but then I want to do the wolves first. Nice stuff. Let's go here because we were here. Now, ooh, I'm gonna go this way. What's in here? Something tells me this is for staff only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is staff only. Whoopsie. Just thought it looked amazing. Wolves! Go wolves. Oh, walk around. I can hear them. I can see them! Cup! Cute. I can hear another cup howling. Yeah, look at that. That's so cute. They're playing. Amazing. Oh, this is adorable. Learning them how learning their cubs how to survive. That's so cool. Oh, they're real life fighting. I love this. It's so natural, and I know like that's the purpose of your zoo, but you've really executed it really well. Ex educated it. Educated it? Executed it? I, I forgot the words. You did a good job on it. <laughs> well, I always be afraid for children falling in. And then again, parents should mind their children, but still. Like me as a kid, I would just be like, oh, let me see. And then I'd be like, no, poof. And then I'd get eaten. Which is, you know, probably just me. I love this habitat, man. This is so cool. East Asia. Ooh. Nice, nice. Oh, I love the cherry blossoms falling. So nice. Oh, the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's music here. Ah. Oh. Cool, there's something in here. Ar uh, armadillo, no. Pangolin. I can hear this train. <gasps> it's a little bridge that they have. So cute. Baby. Oh, and there's another one. Another two sleeping here. This is really amazing. I like this. And here we have the panda. Oh, they have an amazing habitat. What's the sakura trees? Which is uh, Japanese for cherry blossom tree. Sakura. As you didn't know, like I'm learning Japanese at the moment, so or studying Japanese. 
Park train? No, we don't need that. Oh, baby. Oh, I love this, like the shrine bits. Amazing. So this is still panda. Look, there are so many pandas in here as well. And here we have, oh, Japanese macaque. I once watched a, oh, I love this sort of climbing thing. I watched a documentary about these uh, monkeys. They're usually in the mountains of uh, Japan on the snow with the hot, hot water springs. Wow, talking is difficult today. That's what they really like, snow and then hot water. They basically like sauna. Cool. They're one of my favorite monkeys. But my absolute favorite are gorillas. I should build like a, a monkey zoo, stuff only. Tiger. <gasps> White tiger. But are your parents white tigers as well? Parents? No, they're not. Oh, and you're born from normal, normal um, tigers. So cool. Oh, you're pooing. Cool. What's on this side? The camel. Did not expect to see that animal here, but I like it. I like a baby camel. Oh, not a baby camel, a mommy and daddy camel. And here we have the, ooh, some exhibits, nice. I never know how to incorporate exhibits in my builds, but this looks really cool. And then you have the sleeping area of the tiger, which is really cool. So let's check up here. I feel like we we're having a food court perhaps here. Yes, only a well food court, two shops, but still. Ooh, now we're heading into Australia. There is so much more in this zoo than I figured. This is amazing. Australia, ooh, with the emu, no, not the emus, the cassowary, which are actually related to the emus. They're like their cousins or something. I like it, you have like the tropical vibe and then with the desert rocks, you tell like, no, you're actually in Australia. I like it. The dingo. Oh, by the way, you all should watch Seinfeld on Netflix. It's just amazing. The dingo reminded me of that, but ah, oh, amazing. Look at how many dingoes. I've never been to Australia in my whole life and I probably shouldn't be good. Well, it wouldn't be good if I went because I'm so pale, I might actually burst into flames. But also the animals, they're scary. I mean, like cassowaries, they make a terrifying noise. Dingoes, apparently they're very aggressive. And kangaroos just hit you. But koalas are cute. Koalas aren't dangerous or anything, right? They probably have diseases. So well. Climb up, I wanna see you climbing. Go, go, climb, go climb. Okay, well, then don't. Look, there's a baby. I can't get over the fact of how adorable koalas are. They're like tiny little bears and they're so cute. Oh, I like this. The Australian continent there, really nice. Yeah. Kangaroos. Does anyone know why they call kangaroos joeys? Wait, are you dead? You're not dead, right? No, you're awake. Um, you're awake as well, good. Ah, oh, yeah, you're awake. Phew, for a moment I thought I actually died. That'd be awful. I did have that happen in a zoo tour where they almost all the animals died and I was just like, well, this feels unfortunate. Here we have the elephants. Oh, they're gonna play with it, yes. Oh, look how cute she is. Um, I'm not really sure which way to go though. Oh, well, this is stuff only, so it's actually quite easy. I love all the waterfalls that you have. Almost every exhibit has like, or every habitat has like a waterfall. I feel like um, you and I are like, like related because we do a lot of the same things in Planet Zoo. I love waterfalls myself. I like to build without barriers. It's amazing. 
Look, a safari! Giraffes! Well, this is a ride I will not be taking. Just because it is so freaking annoying. It's lovely to build, but it's so annoying to actually do because the animals just sit on the track. And then you're waiting like for five years. Which in this game was actually five years. And zebras. Ooh, what's this? I want to see this. How do I get there? Monkey house. Oh, yes. Oh, the gorilla. Oh, baby gorilla. <gasps> this is really cool. And really dangerous as well in real life, but in game, eh. Oh, look, the train. Oh, I would have expected it to continue. I like this. This is really, really cool. They don't have an inside, do they? Or am I missing it? Probably missing it. So in here we have the capuchins. I like all the climbable areas they have, and one of them is making music. Very musical monkeys. Oh, and they have a walk over. That's really cool. So as, as guests, you can see them walking on top of you. That's really cool. I'm, I'm lost in trees. Nice. That's really quite cool. This feels almost like a petting zoo. Obviously, it's not. But I like the... Like the openness of it, the... How do you say that? It's very... Um, oh, I don't know the English words. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's very inviting to people to look and go into habitats. I like the fact that you with the lions, you did put a kind of barrier here. Oh, look, the lions eating. Ah, oh, they also have cups. So cool. And big water, giant cave, nice. African Jeep Safari, well, we're not going in there. <laughs> Look, otherwise this is happening. Ah, oh, this looks amazing. I like how it throws it down here. And... Oh, I also like to use the aquatic plants here. Really cool. Yeah, this one ain't getting up, so. And we have people watching. I thought for a moment I thought we had protesters. I was like, oh no. But luckily we didn't. Let's see. Where have we landed? Peafowl Garden. Ooh, I haven't been there yet. Ah, oh, I always have the problem with peafowls. They breed like so fast and I end up with like 500 peafowls. Ah, oh, that was a shame. I was hoping he'd continue to do that because I wanted to make a screenshot for it. I can still do it. I can just place it like this. Do it again. Come on, do it again. Oh, Peafowl, put out your lovely feathers. Nah, he's ignoring me. Ah, oh, a shame. I like this. This looks really nice. Lovely walkway habitat. And then, oh, baby hippo! Wait, this is the food court, and then we're there. I know, like, this is almost like a 20 minute walk, but this is amazing. Wait, I have to show it at night. I remember. Oh, this is lovely! Let's zoom out for a moment. Perfectly lit up. Perfect. Really amazing. Well done. Oof. And all of a sudden there was light. Uh, this is really amazing, guys. I really enjoyed this suit tour. Like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Make sure you give the creator some love. As always, links are in the description. As are the links of my social media. So you can follow me on my social media. And as well, guys, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to make the channel grow and we can create an even bigger and more fun of a community. I will hope to see you guys on the next episode. And don't forget, if you want your zoo to be toured, just submit it to the Discord. And bye, guys.